Hey everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And yes, we are back on Silver Run Forest. And trust me, no one could be more surprised that I am showing my face on this map again than I am. I will tell you this right now, my last attempt here, if I'm being kind to myself, was unsuccessful. However, I have been spending some time getting familiar with some of the other equipment. That BM Volvo forwarder thing was the first thing to go. Uh, I, I just, I have no luck with that thing at all. Can't stand it. So I decided to try a few different things out. Um, I just picked up this trailer, this uh, Schwarzmuller log trailer here. I see a little guy poking his little head out there right there, but that's all right. We can fix that. I've been trying some different equipment, as you can see. I've actually had pretty good luck with the old uh, Bobcat Turbo High Flow there. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this thing's pretty straightforward. I mean, that's what... Yeah, that one's easy. Well, I... It's easy for most people. It's at least doable for me. Um, I've been doing some stump grinding. Uh, let me check something here real quick before we get started. I feel like maybe my vehicle volume... Uh, we'll leave. We'll see how that goes. So I've been doing some stump grinding. I'm trying to... One thing I'm starting to learn with forestry is um, patience. A lot, a lot of patience. Which, I don't know. Maybe I'm not as patient as I, of a person as I thought I was. Um, but I am finding patience is key. Um, and not uh, trying to rush things. Trying to pick up too many logs at one time. And, and all this stuff. And just kind of treating it more of a... Of a marathon and not a sprint. There. I guess that's the best way I can put it. Let's see if we can get rid of this stuff. Gone? Yeah, I think it's I think it's kinda gone. Gone enough. So I've been trying several different implements and ways to pick up logs. That's one of my first hurdles is figuring out a good way to pick up logs and actually get them onto a trailer and even pick up logs and get them into a contain container. And I didn't want to jump right to the auto load container because I, I think I'd find myself taking advantage of the auto load, um, and I need more practice. I don't think I've earned auto load yet in the world of uh, farming simulator logging, I guess maybe if that's the way I could put it, more or less. It's like a, it's like an end goal. Like, I want to get good enough at manually loading logs that I can finally say, okay, I've earned auto load. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's a dumb way of thinking about it, but so what I'm going to do is this thing here. Now, the end game, I will say this, the end game skid steer and Giants I hope fixes this because this is annoying. Um this guy right here for people who play with a wheel, it's doing basically the same thing as the Vermeer um Baylor does the um, all-in-one baler, and that is if you turn your wheel, the skid steer likes to move front and back. It starts moving forward, it starts moving back. It just it's unplayable for people with a wheel. I don't know, um, and I've tried different things to correct that, and I can't get it to work right. So I'm just not going to use it, um, and I'm not going to give up my wheel to use that thing. So. 
hopefully giants will see that as a problem and help us wheel people us wheel people out and get that somehow fixed I don't have the problem with only the tracked version the wheeled version I don't have the problem with but the tracked version is a nightmare. Um, and it's not inconvenient. It's actually unusable that way. Oh, let me... Oh, no, no, Brad. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Otherwise, you're not going to get it on the trailer. Which I might not have. Let's see if I can get this thing. Yeah, we can still get it on the trailer, I think. Yeah, thank you. I've also found out that talking to the wood... Talking to the logs helps. Just saying, hey, you know, just talking them through how you want them to go, where you want them to go. Um, you want them to be, you know, this way or that. They seem to listen a little better. I'm not picking the logs up in the middle because it's more difficult to get them on the trailer. Because of the reach, I did try a telehandler out, and I might end up going back to a telehandler. Honestly, I, I don't know if I will or not. Um, I've just been kind of sticking with the Bobcat. Kind of what's been working for me. And as long as it grips it good enough, I'm usually in pretty good shape. I've also learned that if I try to adjust it, like if I raise it and I loosen the tongs and I try to get it to slide down because I'm off to one side, the logs, oh, thank you, the logs will um, slip diagonally and uh, then I have to reposition them again to get them up in the trailer. So, I feel like I've made steps in the right direction. Um, somewhat. I still feel like it's, it's requiring <laughs> a relative amount of concentration. Uh, but, at least I'm having some success. And, honestly, the more success... I think you have the more you can enjoy something you know like I was really after the last thing after the last little hurrah I just wasn't sure if I was gonna bother uh, with logging anymore there's another guy that I watch a British guy he doesn't post very often um, he used to uh, years ago but occasionally he'll he'll still put out some farm sim videos and uh, I noticed um, he also has started taking the plunge into uh, the logging game, um, which he hasn't logged since, I think he said, 17. And um, him and I, I think, share the same disabilities when it comes to uh, this logging and farming simulator. Physics, have they gotten better? I don't know. Honestly, um, maybe those of you who have logged a lot more than I have uh, can answer that better than I can. Uh, do I think they could be better? Yeah, of course. But have they gotten better? I don't know. I just don't remember. I haven't logged since 15. Um, I think we've got what we needed there. I haven't logged since 15, and... I can't really remember. I do... Some things come back to me. The difficulty of actually picking logs up, up from the ground is a... Uh, yeah. That was that was that way in 15, and it still seems to be that way here in 22. Um, I should have probably checked my... Good. It's still on six. I have decided to stay with six meter logs. That seems to be... A sweet spot for me for now.
They seem like they're relatively easy to handle. And I'm assuming that this trailer could probably do bigger than six meter, but uh, it seems like the six meter logs are kind of more or less my, my friends. Let's see if we can grab, whoops. Still uh, dealing with getting comfortable with the mouse controls a little bit, but uh, overall better. Overall better. Enjoying it more, like I said. Is this the tree that's too big to cut down? One of these guys is too big. Let's see if this one. Yeah, I think this one's too big. Let's see, we could grab, we could grab this one over here. I was going to do that anyways. This one right here. Give it a yank, timber. Swing it around, lift it up a little bit. I gave up trying to line up piles as well. Um, that just does not seem to be something that's going to ever happen for me unless I figure that out at some point. Um, I'm just going to take what I can get. Ooh, that thing's like keep swinging on me. There we go. Bring you in a little closer. Closer to home. Get you out of the way. Let's move you over here for a sec. Shut you down. Let's see if I can have a little bit more success getting... getting some more wood picked up. I think on this one, I'm just going to try and play it a little safe and get that log pushed off of there. Thank you. Any of you ever own a bonsai tree before? If you have, you probably know when I tell you that they're kind of something you do that you just kind of just take your time and every cut you make, you're kind of like, you know, I hope I didn't ruin anything. I hope I, you know, hopefully, you know, you plan it out. Oh, <laughs> you plan it out and you try to make each cut great and everything and how I feel working with these things is like every every move I make to pick up the log uh, you can go away Mr. Bush let's see if I can get this thing picked up a little bit better uh, maybe that'll hold let's see if that holds a little bit better for us if I can get it onto the trailer And honestly, I, I I guess I really haven't even thought through what I want to accomplish on this map. I'm, I still feel like, um, let's turn you a little bit, a little crooked going in there. There we go. Let's see if we can get him dropped off. He's going to be a little bit over the edge, but we can, we can give him a shove. lower you let's close our clamp and I kind of just fix things as I go to I've kind of learned that if you don't fix things as you go they they have a tendency to pile up and get worse 
So I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing shoved on a little bit nicer. Not really entirely sure how much wood this trailer is supposed to hold. I'm not even particularly sure how much that tractor is going to be able to tow around, but we'll find out. This ought to be interesting. Maybe grabbing, you know, I've thought about I might try a wheel loader and, and see, you know, that maybe something that can do more than one log at a time. Because the way this is going, this is a bit time consuming. I see that one log is going to be a problem already. What if I just push that log? There we go. Get him out of the way. Lift. No, wrong way. There you go. But I suppose uh, starting a, a small logging operation like this, I mean, I guess you probably wouldn't be able to afford, you know, the big million dollar equipment and whatnot. Um, so maybe this is what you got to deal with until you can get the buck saved up. Let go. There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think I can live with that. I don't know if it's worth picking up this little guy right here. I don't think it is. I don't know if he's a... Oh, not too heavy either. Good. Well, we're going to get him out of here then. Did... Is it is it me or did Giants fix running with uh, objects now? Not the spray paint or the um, chainsaw. But I've noticed recently on my last few gameplays that I've been able to run with things in my hand without them being dropped. I don't know if that's a mod doing that. I don't know of a mod that I have that enables that, but maybe it's a mod acting that way. I don't know. I've just noticed that kind of recently. Oh, you want to let that go, don't you? I know you do, buddy. Just hang on to it. You got it. You got this, Bobcat. You got this one, big guy. Let's not hit our tractor. <laughs> little tippy. It's a pretty substantial, a little more solid log, I think. Release. Excellent. I think we're getting pretty full. I don't know if we can get maybe just a couple more logs on there and then we can take it to the mill and see how much money this has paid off. You can see by my bank balance, I've kind of just been adding money as I've needed it to try out different equipment. Um, I... If I save this as an actual gameplay, I will probably end up um, adjusting that because I don't want to start off being able to buy anything I want. Let's see if we can get this guy up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. A little slide there. Probably not helping that I'm on an incline a little bit over here. Oh, my tractor slide. What's going on with the uh, tractor and the trailer there? 
Giants. You've got some um, sliding action there. I don't know what's moving. If it's the trailer moving or the tractor that's moving. Maybe I did that by yanking my... by yanking the side of the trailer. Just hold on, Volvo. I think we're going to try to maybe put one more log on there. One more good size log. Am I being cocky if I go on here and try to push that one over a little bit? Well, not so much cocky as can't reach. One thing I did like about the telehandlers is you can get a lot more height out of them, and it does make some things a little easier, but um, you definitely want to throw some weight on the back end of a, of a telehandler, I think. Uh, that center of gravity gets thrown off pretty bad when you've got a big log dangling that far in the air. Let's try one more. Let's get one more log on there. I think we've got one more over from this pile that we can try and toss on there. And then um, see if I can find where to sell this stuff. Nope. Not the way I want to go. This way is the way I want to go. There we go. A little too centered, but I think we can make it work. Might almost be worth going on the other side and load this one. Let's just try it. Oh man, yeah, this thing really likes to skid around right now. <laughs> I think this woo, I think this log's a little heavier than the rest of them. I think we're seeing the uh the limits of the bobcat. All right, let's push that one in a little bit so we don't uh lose it. Try and get this shoved in a little better on the trailer, if I can. Thank you. All right. Boy. I feel like I'm playing Jenga. Is that the name of that game where you pull out the wood pieces until they all fall down? I think these poles... Yeah, I can raise these poles up. I'm certain you could get more, more wood on there, but I am thankful for what I have. Where are we going? We are here. We're going to the uh, lumber mill gas station pets. Shingle factory. No. Oh, no, no, Brad. I don't want to transport. Barrels, fire. Where is the great old, good, old-fashioned lumber mill? Hospital? Is it... Old sawmills up there. I don't know if we want to sell to the old sawmill. Regular sawmill right there. Ah, oh, maybe we'll do that. Take it to the regular sawmill. I suppose we should probably... 
Head back to our tractor here. There we go. That thing's got some weight on her. So how do we get to the sawmill? Need to go out here, uh, take a left, it looks like. Oh man, wow, there's no brakes. <laughs> I ain't got no brakes. All right, there we go. This thing's got some weight to it. Oh no, are those logs? Oh, I think better not. I'm gonna lose my mind. Looks like some of them are sliding forward a little bit. Need a headache rack on this thing. Make sure there's no train coming. So the last thing I need is get whacked by a <laughs> get whacked by a train. Uh, Brad, you need to. Oh, look at there's a train right there. Yeah, see, I knew you were. Oh, I knew you were gonna cause me trouble. Uh, where do we need to go? We need to go take a right, don't we, to get over there? So. Yeah, I think we could do this. Is this right? I think this is right. I think this is correct. That's right, I tagged it, didn't I? Alright, let's see what we got here. I have no idea. I see that. I see you moving around a little bit there, Lumber. Just stay right where you are. We've made it this far. Um. Do I need to go up and around, maybe? Or did I get in there the wrong way? Did I come in the wrong way? No, it looks like we can get in up here. Am I holding up traffic? It is a pretty map. No question about that. And clearly somebody else who's a much better log logger than I am is on this map because look at all this wood sitting here. Uh, how do I get over there, through here? All right. I don't think this was the best way to come in here. I feel like... This is not good. Oh, thank you for not getting stuck. All right. I guess this is what it's all about, right? Getting paid. Getting paid. <laughs> um. Yeah. Is this where you have to load? Maybe I don't sell it here? Interesting. I don't think this trailer dumps, does it? Uh, on her select. No, I don't think it does. Just fasten on fashion tension belts. Is that for containers there or something, maybe? Or. I guess I've never really paid much attention to where. Oh, getting some frame rate there. On where to, um. On where to sell. I think I also have uh, something turned off. My interactive zone markers are turned off. Can I not sell at this uh, sawmill? Do I have to go to the old one? I 
I just want to sell the logs, man. Apparently this is not the place to do it. What's our... Oh. 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 Okay. About 16,000. Is it still selling? No, it's done. All right. Oh, maybe I just wasn't in the in the zone, right? Interesting. Okay, then. Well, that's, you know, that's not bad cash for <clears throat> For that amount of wood, I didn't exactly um, have the thing loaded up real heavy or anything, and so yeah, that's I guess that's not bad. This is completely illegal, and I'm gonna get hit by a train almost certainly. So yeah, so rinse and repeat, huh? On the uh, cutting down trees and whatnot. I I actually if I actually enjoyed it once I started, once I think I had locked into um, a little bit better way of doing it. <clears throat> I think the Bobcat certainly helps a lot. Uh, at least it helps me a lot. That forwarder that I used uh, previously was that we, were not, we weren't going to get along. There was no question about that. And I just have to find my way around this map. I haven't um, really... No, don't walk out in the middle of the road. Thank you. I really haven't driven around this map a ton. I think that was our way home over there. I think we're going to have to make a Huey. Fortunately, traffic is not too heavy here in Silver Run. see if I can I think if I go this way I don't know I think I missed our our turn up to the up to our log cabin where am I that's over to the left there should be a trail right over yonder see if I can find my way back Ooh, that'd be a good jump ramp right there. Maybe get the, uh... What's this person doing? What, what, wait, what are you doing, man? You just follow me? Oh, that's kind of weird. I'll let this person go, too. Yeah. Yep, alright. Kind of creepy. Didn't think cars would be coming back there. Is this my uh, trail right here? Oh, that's my trail over there. Okay, well, we're just gonna... We're gonna cut through. Did I leave my blinker on? Like an old man? I think I did. Ha, <laughs> too funny. I've been driving around with my blinker on. Oh, so typical. Oh, this is some... A little steeper than I gave it credit for. You gonna make it up the hill, Volvo? You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, that is a pretty good incline. No wonder my brakes weren't working too good with the trailer. Well, wow, I feel like a celebration is in order for me that I actually somehow delivered my first load of wood. What do you think, Ten Man? You think <laughs> you think I've and my skills have gotten better? Oh man! Well, I'm gonna keep working at it and practicing and figuring stuff out um, and keep cutting. I just plan on clearing out as much as I can. Eventually, I'm gonna hook, have to hook up one of those yarders, I think, and get their assistance. But uh, until then, I think. 
starting to get the hang of it. So thanks, everyone, for joining me again here on Silver Run. Hopefully this one was a little bit... We saw a little bit more success this time than we did last time, but I just want to do a quick video on it and uh, hope you're all having a great weekend. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for checking out my channel again. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. And, of course, you can always subscribe if you choose to. Um, and I will see you hopefully soon, probably back on Kubota Farm. Have a great weekend. Make sure you take care of yourselves. Let's take care of each other. We'll see you later.